This is part 2 in series of tutorials about how to make this parametric facade. In this tutorial we will look at how to make this 5 point adaptive panel and also how to make 3 point adaptive panel. So let's start. This is in place mass with divided surface from previous video and this is curtain panel with 5 corners that we will replace with generic model adaptive family with 5 points. You can see that in this surface we only have 4 and 5 point panels. If your surface has a different pattern, let's say, let's rotate this pattern, let's say 10 degrees. So now you can see we have 3 types of panels. We have 4 point panel, we have this 3 point panel, and we have 5 point panel. Let's see, let's like, like this one in the bottom. It's bigger than the previous one, but it also has five points. And in case of this divided surface, you will need three types of panels. But for this video, let's return it to the default state, where it has only two types of panels. So how do we make this five-point generic model adaptive family? We will need to create a new family. Let's choose generic model adaptive. Next, you will need to create five points. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. Now select those points and click Make Adaptive. And now I have five adaptive points. One, two, three, four, and five. After that, you need to draw a reference line through those points. Select Enable 3D Snapping and Chain and click through points one, two, three, four, five, and also back to one, and click enter. Now select the chain of reference lines and cre click create form, choose a surface. Now you have a surface that is linked to those points. So let's say if you select this point and move up, you can see that the surface follows those points. That is very important for this all to work. You can select point two, move it sideways, and the surface follows those points. Now let's align those points back to the base surface. And next you will need to add this family to curtain panel category. Select family category button and select curtain panels. And now this family is in the curtain panel category. Save this family as I already did and name it something like adaptive five points. So you will later recognize this family. As I already have this family, I will override it and load it into the project. And now you can find your family under the curtain panel group. Ungroup this and here you have your adaptive five point panel. Now what if you need a three point adaptive panel? Just select two points and delete them. Also delete the reference line and draw a new re reference line through those points. One, two, three, back to one, press enter, select the new reference line, press create form, select surface, and now you have family with three adaptive points. Now save as this family and name it something like adaptive three points. So later you can find it in the Dynamo or in the model browser. Load this into the project and it will already ask you to apply this family to the project. Select three points, one, two and three and you can see that this family is applied correctly. You can delete this and test your five point adaptive panel. Select it and drag it into the model and select one, two, three, four, and five corners of the curtain panel. And now you can see that it's applied correctly. The surface is following curtain panel and it's not rounded but straight so you can produce it in the real life. In the next video we will look at how to make four point adaptive panel. Hope this helps, have a great day and see you in the next video.